Until recently, the Opera was still one of Casablanca's grandest cinemas. When it was closed down in 2004, the former caretaker decided to set up home on site. In a corner, the rolls of film are piled up and deteriorating. It's the kind of situation which one organisation says is far too common. We make films, but we don't have anywhere left to watch them. Here's the proof. We have to save our architectural heritage and stop it from being destroyed or from disappearing. We have to rehabilitate these cinemas. 30 years ago, Morocco had more than 250 cinemas. Now there are barely 50. The Verdun is one historic movie theatre in the city's Jewish quarter. It seats 1,500 and has two balconies and an orchestra pit. The cinema's for sale. The commercial chain Asima wants to buy up the hall, do it up and turn it into a supermarket. They tell me the cinema's dead. Before the cinema was full, there wasn't even room to sit down. Now we get four to six people a show. The reason? A surge in cable television channels and a huge pirate DVD industry. On streets throughout the country, you can pick up the latest cinema blockbuster for little more than a dollar. We let 800 or 1,200 seat cinemas play films. That's just too big. Today, a 1,000 seat cinema is practically unworkable. Unless you transform the interior to a complex with four or five screens, you're not going to get anywhere. The government is now working to develop such multi-screen complexes. Morocco already has two, available to those who can travel out of town and afford the ticket price. Meanwhile, the country's traditional cinemas seem to be facing a future as supermarkets and shopping centres.